Welcome to the Path of Business Technical Support Team. My name is Phil and I'll be giving you a quick introduction into how to program up load shedding within the IREO. The components we'll be using is the IREO itself, the IREO power supply. We have a switch which is connected to digital input 5 of the IREO and we have a router which is basically connecting my PC uh, wirelessly to the router and you've got a hardwired connection going straight to the IREO. So what I'm going to do before taking you through how to program uh, load shedding up within the IREO, I'm quickly just going to describe uh, what's actually happening uh, within this particular screen here. So what we have is we have uh, here the IREO output as described uh, previously. So this is connected to the digital output one of the IREO and this has been programmed up to be a on-off down combo box. Uh, just below that we've got a meter input uh, and here we've got a variable currently sitting at 8 amps so units that can be whatever you decide, uh, watts, uh, kilowatts, uh, yeah it can be anything. Uh, the way it's going to be programmed up is that when it reaches a value of 10 it's going to basically trigger the IREO output uh, variable in our particular case, the digital input, sorry, the digital output one of the IREO to turn on. So I'll just quickly demonstrate that now. So if I pulse the meter input, that will slowly increase to 10. Once it reaches 10, as we can see here, it's turned the IREO output, so it's the digital output one, to on. Now, as that increases, that remains on. You can turn that through. You can turn that particular output off again, even though this is increasing, that particular value will remain off. And if I just turn that back on, and let's just say for example the amperage is now dropped off, let's just say to 8, I can work from in, so if I change that to 8, so I'm just going 8 enter, it's actually turned the IREO output off. So as it drops, as it falls, as it raises, it will actually turn the REO output on and off. Now you can also program a hysteresis into that as well, and I'll, I'll show you how to program that now. So if I go over to the configuration page, uh, I'll quickly show you how the variables are programmed up, just so you have a complete picture of what's happening. So I'm currently looking at the REO output. Now I've got a name, it's the REO 16 digital input output board, just to reinforce the digital output one. I've given it a unit state of slash off slash on so we get that drop down combo box functionality. There's no operation and it's set to a boolean value. So press finish to that and I'll sh uh, show you the other variable which is the meter input variable. It's got obviously the name, quick description, it's connected to the 16 input digital input output board. It's the digital input 5 channel. I've given it a unit state of amps. Now because this is operating off a dry contact switch, I've had to give it a operation of edge counter. So that shouldn't be new for uh, those of you who have completed the IREO installation commissioning course. Again, this is just the standard for how I've set my particular side up. That's going to vary from side to side. I've also programmed it as a in input output, reason being, Gives you a bit more flexibility within the uh, commissioning time. You probably have to change that after commissioning. Uh, that way, you know somebody else is not going to uh, uh, play around with those particular values because you want to see what those that true amperage is being read from that meter. Uh, st storage data format I've given it as IEEE so we can actually get a usable value. I press finish. Go to configuration alarms so this is where we get this is where we program that functionality that load shedding functionality that functionality within the REO so I'll click on that and I'll show you how this is programmed up so I've given a name I've given a description uh, under file I've just said no it's not required uh, since it's just a means of uh, logging whether it, it's just a logging mechanism essentially now the origin so this is the origin for this particular is, uh, or in other words, what it's doing is 
its trigger is being originated from a variable. So if I press continue, that variable is going to be the meter input reading, so the amperage reading. Report, don't have to have a report, just say no. Now, what we're looking at, this option here, and I'll just skip ahead. What I've done is I want the action to occur above or equal to 10 amps. So when the this particular variable here reaches 10 amps, I want it to do a particular thing. I want it to do something. So what I've done is I've gone, if it's greater than or equal to, this is that 10 value, I want it to do this. So I want this uh, variable to change to one. So that's if it's equal to or greater than 10. Once it falls below 10, so when this alarm is no longer true, I want the IREO output variable. So this is the actual, this is the digital output one of the IREO to turn off. And like I said, you can program a hysteresis at uh, do all that and that is essentially programming uh, load shedding within the IREO. Uh, there's not much more to that. If you have any more questions in relation to any of this please feel free to call the uh, Small Electric Technical Support Team. Uh, they're more than happy to help and I'd just like to thank you for watching.